beautiful goddesses. I'm Allie and I'm here to share sacred wisdom through modern methods. I'm here at Lake Michigan, just spending some time earthing and connecting with Mother Earth. And today's modern goddess lifestyle tip is how to naturally decrease the pain that you are experiencing before and during your menses, during your menstrual cycle. The first tip for today, this comes from our diet. It's really important to eat foods that are going to support the liver. So foods like lemon and beets and dark leafy green vegetables, uh, citrus fruits, as well as dandelion root tea. And these foods help to support the liver in metabolizing excess estrogen. And so I want to talk to you guys a little bit today about estrogen and progesterone levels. One of the reasons why we experience some of these symptoms that we're getting that are so-called PMS, this bloatingness, the cramping, the headaches, and the brain fog, and the moodiness, a lot of this can come from an imbalance of the ratio of estrogen and progesterone. You may be thinking, well, isn't estrogen a natural thing that the body makes? Yes, but also in this modern day society that we live in, there are foods that are prepackaged in plastic containers that we may be microwaving or even when we're drinking water bottles that are coated in plastic. All of this is having the plastic leach out and getting into our food. And these plastics are actually called xenoestrogens. They are chemicals that mimic estrogen in our body. It is not real estrogen that our body makes, but it is coming from outside sources. This can also show up in our shampoos, our conditioners, our soaps. And these xenoestrogens are tricking our body to thinking it has more estrogen than it really does. So how this affects our cycle is first half of the cycle, we are building estrogen and that's building our uterine lining. And then eventually the egg releases and we ovulate. The second half of the cycle, estrogen declines a bit and that's when progesterone kicks in. In the second half of our cycle, about 10 to 14 days before we menstruate, our progesterone levels are rising and they need to be higher than estrogen levels. With these excess of xenoestrogens we are having from our food sources and our beauty products, this is creating an imbalance and we may now be having an estrogen dominance. It is the ratio of estrogen to progesterone that can create a lot of these symptoms and many women are experiencing low progesterone and it's creating this breast tenderness, this bloatingness and all the cramping that we don't want to feel. And so along with eating foods that are going to support the liver, because the liver is what helps to break down and metabolize this, this excess estrogen, we can also eat cruciferous vegetables. Yes, I'm talking kale, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, broccoli, collard greens, all that yummy goodness. Cruciferous vegetables are really important because when the liver breaks these down, they produce a thing called indole-3-carbonyl. And indole-3-carbonyl breaks down and metabolizes estrogen. So eat these foods in surplus. If you need some recipes, you can check out my blog at moderngoddesslifestyle.com. I have a delicious Szechuan broccoli recipe there, as, many, as well as many others that are supporting for your liver and your female system. But I also wanted to talk to you about our number two tip today that is more of a lifestyle tip rather than a dietary choice. And this lifestyle tip comes from ancient feminine wisdom. Each month we have this cyclical rhythm where we are building up the uterine lining and then shedding it and detoxing it. Our menstrual cycle is essentially a physical detox. We're shedding all of this uterine lining and it takes a lot of energy. But from a more spiritual perspective, this is also a time of emotional cleansing as well. And so while our body is preparing for this immense physical detox, we are also emotionally detoxing. And so you're probably thinking, what does that mean, this emotional detox? Well, when we go through the month and situations happen to us and we feel emotionally vulnerable and we may feel grief or sadness or anger or pain, we may not have healthy ways to express those emotions in the moment. We may not feel safe and we ignore them. We stuff them down and those emotions can get stored in our body. 
So if we never give ourselves time to properly slow down and connect with ourselves and our intuition and to allow these emotions to surface and release in healthy ways, they can become stuck or trapped in the body. As we're going through this physical detox of our uterine lining releasing, these emotions may be wanting to express as well. And so we may be feeling these symptoms of the physical pain in our lower abdomen or the headaches as a physical symptom of an emotional expression that the body is holding onto that wants to release. The way that we can connect with these emotions and help them release in healthy ways is to take time for ourselves each month during this sacred time of getting our menstrual cycle. So we live in this fast paced society, right? We have children we need to take care of and make food for and take to, to school. We have jobs that may be very demanding. We may have people in our lives that we're caregiving for. So when do we find the time for ourselves? And so ladies, my beautiful goddess friends, it is important to take time each month for self care practices. As your menstrual cycle is coming and you're starting to feel some of these symptoms arise, take time for yourself. Take time to just sit quietly. Maybe you want to take a bath with some soothing music. Maybe you'd like to meditate or put on a guided meditation that you can listen to. Maybe you want to read or maybe you want to journal down your thoughts and feelings. But take time each month to connect with yourself and to slow down activating your parasympathetic nervous system and slowing down that sympathetic nervous system, that fight or flight response that's constantly going, going. So when you take time to just connect with your body and connect with your breath and indulge in this pleasure of just being, you may have emotions come up, you may have memories, and it may take some time to process. This is a little tip that I use in order to get in touch with myself each month. So I will go somewhere quietly that I feel very safe, that I feel that I can connect deeply with myself, that I won't be disturbed, that I feel comfortable, that I feel warm. Sometimes it may be out in nature, other times it may be in my room, in my meditation space. I'll sit with my spine erect and I'll gently take some deep breaths in and out. And I will make my hands into this downward triangle and place it over my womb space. This is an ancient sacred symbol for women's power and connecting with that womb space energy. And I'll just take some breaths and I will breathe into this space and if I'm feeling pain, I will just allow it to express. I will allow my body to share the wisdom and bring it to the surface. And as I'm sitting here and expressing, I may feel grief, I may, may feel sad and I allow those emotions to arise and I give witness to them, I accept them and I let them speak as long as they need to. Sometimes I may cry, other times I may want to drum on my drum. And it's all about just allowing it to come up and to being present with it and allowing it to have a voice because for so long we have been quieting these emotions that we've been feeling. And then little by little, I start to feel lighter, I start to feel happier, I start to feel more joyful. And it's like that energy that was stuck in here has finally expressed and passed through. And I use this tool every month right before I get my menstrual cycle as well as throughout the month when I'm feeling overwhelmed and needing to connect. And so I challenge you, maybe try that this month. Give yourself some time to just slow down and connect with our body because our body holds much wisdom for healing and for growth. And when we're really able to slow down and listen to these emotions, they can be our biggest guide for our tools of transformation, for how we wanna make changes in our life and how to create more self-love. And when we're able to create more self-love, then we're able to give more love to others. I hope this tip was helpful for you guys today. If you like this video, please feel free to share it with your friends and family. And I will be back for more recipes and more modern goddess lifestyle tips of sacred wisdom through modern methods. Thank you. Lies in the ways of the woman by That's what you are. <laughs> Love to you.